Hello, and welcome to the Ingleside Public Library. Today we will be reading April Foolishness by Teresa Bateman. Life on the farm keeps a gal on her toes. That's what Grandma thought as she flung on her clothes. She grinned, for the grandkids had come for a stay, and wouldn't you know it, they'd picked the right day. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the cows have got loose. I think Big Brown Bessie just stepped on a goose. Imagine, said Grandpa, good gracious a loss. Then he poured some milk in a tall frosty glass. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the chickens are out. They're squawking and squabbling and racing about. Imagine, said Grandpa, amazing, oh my, as he popped some eggs into the skillet to fry. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the pigs broke the gate. They're in the tomatoes, oh hurry, don't wait. Imagine, said Grandpa, I'm really quite shaken. He reached in the fridge and he got out the bacon. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the goats are all freed. They're running around in a smelly stampede. Imagine, said Grandpa, it's really quite scary. Then he sliced the goat cheese that he bought from the dairy. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the sheep are all gone. I heard that they're munching on somebody's lawn. Imagine, said Grandpa, I hope things get better. He opened the closet and got out a sweater. Grandpa, oh why won't you listen to me? The farm's going nuts. If you'd look, you would see. But Grandpa just grinned as he took out the bread and he popped in some toast for his breakfast instead. Then Grandma appeared, what a hullabaloo. Who's causing this noise, the grandkids or you? It's nothing, said Grandpa, ignore them, I say. They're trying to trick me, it's April Fool's Day. But honey, said Grandma, you'll find to your sorrow, it's not April Fool's Day today, but tomorrow. Then Grandpa turned red and he gave out a roar. He sped through the kitchen and dashed out the door. Grandma just smiled as she pulled up a stool. She nibbled his toast and she called. April Fool! The end. I hope y'all enjoyed this book. Y'all have a great day. See y'all next time. Bye.